Hi, it's Angie and Cheryl. And Cheryl is our passion for food columnist for the Oklahoman, and she is going to show us today the famous Aunt Bill's Brown Candy. This is something right. that the Oklahoman has been doing for years, and I believe it was Aunt Susan who made it so popular and publicized it. She did. It. Uh, she did, and I, I'm not sure whether it was a reader that gave her the recipe, but Aunt Susan finally did meet the woman who called herself Aunt Bill wow. back in 1933 when it wow. was first published, and that's so 76 cool. years ago. A long that's time. So cool. And uh, so these are some of the uh, things that I've collected from Aunt Susan, who was the food columnist at the Oklahoma wow. for um, years until up in the in the 40s. And this is uh, these are some these make nice Christmas gifts, incidentally. Yeah, there you go. Uh, there you go. The long lost recipes of Aunt Susan have been modernized. Yeah. And, so uh, tell us about this. This is famous. Oh, candy. It, it is famous. I think it's sort of uh, unique to Oklahoma, and that's yeah. part of why I love it so so there much. You know. But. For years, Angie, I was afraid to make it because everyone would say, oh, Aunt Bills, that's quite an operation, you know, oh. How much you know, time it's, do you need it? to spare in order to make it? I would spare an hour from the time you set up everything where you have everything in its place that you're going to need uh -huh. and you get babysitters if you have small children <laughs> <laughs> because you don't want them wow. running it through the kitchen. Wow. Or, or um, and it's not a good th project to do with your grandchildren if they're young gotcha. because gotcha. you're dealing with hot syrup here and so that's you, true. you have to be um, cautious that's about true. that. All right. So and what's this the is, first step? This, now? Is, this, this is, is the one that I made last night, and I oh. wrap it in this buttered foil, and I just kind of keep using that, that looks uh, great. to wrap up the candy. And uh, I'm about to uh, cut some off. <laughs> right <laughs> yeah. Now. Yeah. There you go. So what is the first step in getting the started? The first step is I assemble every ingredient that I'm going to need mm -hmm. on the counter, and I've done that. I've put. Uh, two of the three cups of sugar called for in the recipe in one large heavy saucepan. This okay. is the heaviest one I have. And then another heavy saucepan to caramelize the other cup of sugar with a little bit of water. And this is a, a cup of half and half. So we start we're going to get started okay. by just putting that on and we're going to start stirring this until the sugar dissolves. And that takes just a little bit of stirring, and I kind of warm it up. It's going to be, you know, warmer than room temperature, but it's not going to be anywhere near what it will be later when we combine the two. Okay, now tell us what's happening here. I see something Okay, well, it's changing. changing. You can see that it's changing, uh -huh. and the mixture is becoming more translucent, yeah. just like a light bulb, um, is the way I can describe huh. it. It's kind of like the frosting right. on the inside of That's a light true. bulb. Right, that's true, that's true. But you can see that the sugar's dissolving. All right, so we're moving on. Yes. Tell us what's now going on I've here. I've got this other uh, heavy, smaller saucepan on the stove, and I'm going to do the caramelization here. Ah. I put a cup of sugar mm -hmm. and a fourth cup of water to okay. sort of get things started. The original recipe just um, had you melting the uh, sugar. So, and then we just stir this. Again, we want the sugar to dissolve. And so we're going we're gonna to keep stirring this over a sort of a medium-low heat. When you're stirring uh, the candy, you'll uh -huh. notice that uh, little crystals of sugar start to collect on the sides of the pan, especially before the sugar mm -hmm. um, dissolves. So how, it, how do you get rid of that? Well, you don't want the crystals to be in your candy. So okay. what I like to do is take a brush and I just go around the edge of the pan where the crystals have collected and I've dipped this in water and this is a heat proof silicone bristle brush. What we want here is to let it caramelize until it changes color. Gotcha. And so we're going to watch it pretty closely and this may take about eight minutes of boiling mm -hmm. before that changes, six okay. to eight minutes. All right, so it's changing a little bit. Tell us what's going on here. Well, I think uh, even though the the flame underneath the pan is about the same. Mm -hmm. The bubbles start slowing down a little bit, which tells me that the liquid is thicker than it ah. was to start with. So I know that we're getting close to the time when it starts to change. And once once it change, starts changing color, that happens pretty fast. Okay. So you want to be very alert and right ready to 
move that uh, into pan. the other pan. Yes, we're going to pour it into the other pan. Now you may see a little bit of smoke mm -hmm. as, as yeah. it starts to, uh, to change color. And when you see that, you're just really close, like a beautiful uh, glass of crystal clear iced tea. You can see it in there. Now we're going to bring it over and pour it into our other pot. And it's going to make a noise. Let's, Kyle, let's get this bubbling up if we can. It's going to make a noise as you pour, So, but it's supposed to do that. So don't worry, just keep pouring. You can hear it sizzle and keep stirring. Now the whole thing is about stirring and stirring and stirring. And I like to just get that last little bit out. And that's what I, why I like the silicone spatula as opposed to the wooden spoon. Well, it's probably going to take us about uh, maybe 12 minutes from here to come to a temperature on the thermometer. On so the, this is the candy thermometer. This is the candy thermometer, and there are several kinds. There are two ways to do this. You can uh, judge the soft ball, mm -hmm. and uh, you want it in the range from uh, 234 degrees to 240 degrees. Okay. <laughs> like, hurry up. Yeah, I think it'll be pretty cute. Uh, okay. <laughs> the tag team candy. <laughs> I just have some cool water in a little uh, dish. You and can this use, is another way to tell how hot it is. This is another way to wow. tell if you're at the softball stage. Okay. And I'm just going to put a couple huh. of drips in oh, there. I used to love this part. Yeah. <laughs> of fudge or any of those candies. Now. It's, it's kind of like a soft ball, but you couldn't pick it up. Huh. You want to actually be able to pick up the soft wow. ball. And that's how you know it's ready. That's how you know. Okay. So, and right now we're at 223 degrees. Okay. We're not there yet. We can do a test here to see. All right. Yeah, let's hold this over let's here. Test this again. I don't want to drip on something. And this is literally, you're supposed to be able to pick it up like a You're supposed base, to be able to like pick soft. it up, but it's got to be soft. You don't want it to be a hard. So we're just almost there. Now, the thermometer, there's a little difference in the thermometer setting okay. and what is there, but I can actually pick up this little. Whereas you couldn't earlier. But right, okay. right. Okay. That's, that's good to eat, by yeah. the way. The mixture, you can see, is quite a bit thicker, and we're just almost there. And I'm going to add the baking soda. And that will make it bubble up some more. Okay. All right, now we brought this uh, pot mm -hmm. over here to kind of help it cool a little faster, is that right? Right, we've taken it away from the heat of the stove, even mm -hmm. though we're not getting a lot uh, with the burner turned off. So now we're putting in the... Now it's cool to about 160 degrees, and you could let it sit at home for about 20 minutes. Okay. And I'm gonna put the half teaspoon of vanilla in there, and I use real vanilla for mm -hmm. this, so. Mm -hmm. If you're going to go to this much trouble, you yeah. want to go the extra mile. Make sure you've got go the best, <laughs> the best vanilla possible. So then you stir that, and we want to stir this until the mixture loses its gloss. And you see, right now it's shiny. It's very shiny. Mm -hmm. And we're going to stir this until it loses that shine, until it becomes more. Um, like a, a dull Madness. satin, you know, instead of this shiny taffeta. All right, Cheryl, it's been about five minutes. Right. She's been stirring up a storm. <laughs> We've pretty much taken that gloss off of it. It's still a beautiful okay. uh, caramel color, but uh, a deep caramel color, which I love. And now I'm going to take my nuts. And stir them in. Do you and stir them in. Now this is where it gets even tougher. I can. <laughs> Whoa! That is <laughs> this is where wow. and see how the it just thickens go. almost oh instantly. Yeah, this is where you need. So I'm just gonna muscle man in the pop kitchen. this onto the foil. <laughs> this is heavy. This is why the oh my god. So you want a big wooden spoon or a heavy duty spatula, and I didn't happen to bring mine today. I have more respect for you now than ever. <laughs> this is why people go and work out and they'll have to work out even more, <laughs> uh, spend more time in the gym if they're going to enjoy this stuff. Yeah. 
So this, um, it, you said it needs to cool for about how long do you oh, think? Oh gosh, it, probably 20 minutes from now we can cut that one. Wow. But we'll cut this one yes. so we can have a little sample. And uh, you know, you can do it a couple of ways. If I'm just nibbling at home, <laughs> which I do, mm -hmm. uh, I just cut little thin pieces like this. All Taste right. it, Angie. Let's see what you say. Mm -hmm. But if you were serving it for a party, mm -hmm. you could take these and drop them in those little mini muffin cups like this. There you go. And it's really neat. Uh, and I think the fact that it's packed with toasted pecans mm -hmm. is really nice. Yeah, so if you want this recipe, and obviously Cheryl Jones knows that this recipe is so famous, she'll have it, it is. though in the Oklahoma and the section under her Passion for Food column. This is amazing. Cheryl, thank you so much, and happy holidays, everybody. Yes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.